Hi guys, what's up Jason here and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 video on my channel and in today's video guys I'm going to be reviewing the Italian legend himself El Shirari. So if you do remember this guy's card back in FIFA 12 I think it was when he had a silver cam card It was one of the best skillers back then and so um, yeah ever since then you know he's improved quite a lot And now he's an 83 rated gold in form card now this card did actually come out a few weeks ago But I just really didn't have you know time to review him around the time when he came out but now I've been able to review him so I'm going to be talking about his pros and cons today while showing you some of the best goals I scored with him. So the first pro I could find with this card was his pace, you know it is very quick and agile, I think he has around 89 pace and um, what is a very important stat to have on FIFA 18 especially for a winger you know um, because I think you know pace is one of the most important stats because it enables you to you know beat players easily if you have a very quick pay um, player and Al Shirari is that. So the next pro I could find with this card was his curve. Um, just like Kresma, he has really good curve, but he sort of has a different type of curve to Kresma. You know, Kresma's more about the outside the foot shot um, curve, where Al Shirari's more about, you know, the finesse shot curve. I think there's, you know, two different types of curve, and uh, Al Shirari is more of the finesse shot um, type of curve player, if that makes sense. And then the next pro I could find with him was his dribbling. And he, you know, as you can see from a lot of these goals I'm scoring um, with him, he's very, very good at dribbling. You know, keeps it so close to his feet, especially here. Look at that. The players just can't dispossess him because he's keeping the ball so close to his feet when performing the skill moves. And then again, even though he's got a two-star weak foot, in my opinion, I didn't find this a con. Um, I think he finished um, the majority of chances he did have on his left foot. Um, so I don't think the two-star weak foot is really much of a con. Um, but something that's pretty interesting is on a FIFA 11 or 12, I think he used to have a 5 star weak foot, then he got downgraded to a 4 star weak foot, then he got downgraded to a 3 star weak foot, and now he has a 2 star weak foot. So I find it pretty funny how um, EA over the years have slowly downgraded his uh, weak foot. But um, on previous FIFAs as well, he did actually have 4 star skill moves for a few years, I think it was between FIFA 14 and FIFA 16. Or uh, I think it was FIFA 4, 13 to 14 maybe, I can't remember. But anyway guys, this has been the review. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.